Hello and welcome to Health Homeopathy and Me. I'm Raquel and this is my channel where I talk about all things health and homeopathy related. I thought today I would tell you about Belladonna. I thought that would be a good follow-up to my last video about the Highlands teething tablets and that Belladonna scare everybody has. Belladonna is such an amazing and incredibly helpful remedy. It is a really commonly needed remedy for children's acute illnesses. And so I thought telling you guys more about it would help you be ready when you see that picture to use it. As always, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. If you like this video, be sure to, you know, click that like button below, let me know. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the alert button. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you and chat about homeopathy. Despite its deadly potential, herbal belladonna has a long history of allopathic use for a broad range of issues, but when Hahnemann potentized belladonna atropa, he unlocked incredible healing potential from this otherwise dangerous herb, and now we can use it safely and effectively for a huge range of issues, from teething to febrile illnesses to headaches, even insomnia, and more. In true homeopathic fashion, where we use like to cure like, the keynotes of a person who needs homeopathic belladonna look a lot like belladonna poisoning. The keynotes are red, hot, swollen, and throbbing, um, restlessness, and glassy eyes or dilated pupils. And one strange, rare, and peculiar symptom that homeopaths love so much because they really help narrow down that remedy is a craving for lemons or lemonade. We see that a lot when somebody needs belladonna. It's just one of those little side note symptoms that, hey, that might be the right remedy. Belladonna is also an excellent remedy for a headache that comes on suddenly with pain in the back of the head, the temples, the forehead, or behind the eyes. The pain is throbbing or pounding, sometimes described as hammering, and they are better for lying down in a darkened room and for pressure, and worse for temperature changes, for bending down, and, um, and for light. Belladonna may be the most commonly prescribed remedy for childhood febrile illnesses. Hahnemann and those who followed after him have used it for a huge range of issues from scarlet fever to measles, chicken pox, and even rabies. Now it is of course not the only remedy to consider in cases such as these, but it is a really important one and very useful one. A belladonna fever is intense. It is hot. They often have red flushed faces and their heads feel hot. If you touch their head and you pull your hand away, your hand still feels warm. Curiously though, their hands and feet are often cold. If the child is um, experiencing neurological symptoms like seizures or hallucinations, you'd expect to see those subside very quickly um, if belladonna was the correct remedy even if the fever hasn't dropped and their other symptoms don't seem to be affected quite yet. You would expect to see neurological symptoms resolve um, the most quickly. So that's, that's helpful um, because those are often the most, the scariest. Something to be aware of is that because belladonna illnesses are so often so intense, it's not unusual to need to dose frequently. So be prepared for that um, and know that it is normal in, in severe or very intense illnesses to have to dose every five minutes in the beginning. You probably shouldn't have to do that too long before you really start to notice things happening and things spacing out. Um, but, but don't be worried and do be prepared to notice the symptoms returning, even if it is very quickly. Belladonna can be really helpful to new mothers when their milk is just coming in or if they're experiencing a case of mastitis, when their breasts are red, hot, 
swollen and gorged and very painful, it can often help relieve that. If it's a clogged duct or mastitis, it may be accompanied by a belladonna type headache and um, fever as well. Another time it can be helpful is during that time of the month um, when a woman's period is heavy and extremely painful with red clotted blood. Now, of course, if this is a normal problem and a regular thing, every month you have a, a trouble with your period and you find yourself really debilitated, you need to talk to a homeopath. It's not an acute issue and, um, and it's not going to help you as much as a constitutional remedy would. But sometimes, as we have, you know, off months here and there, it can be very helpful. All right, well, that is belladonna. Of course, there's more things that belladonna can cover, like sunstroke and infected wounds, but this should give you a pretty good picture of the keynotes so that you can notice them in other situations as well. It really has earned its place in the homeopath's toolkit. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up below and let me know. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe and then click that alert button, that little bell that pops up right next to the subscribe button after you click it so that you won't miss any of my future videos. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used Belladonna successfully and let's chat. I want to hear from you. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next Tuesday.